We arrived late last night, so we couldn't do anything, couldn't get the rods out. But we're here, we've got five days in Utopia. Carl's been here before, we're with a group of friends of yours. Yes, yeah, so we jumped on with a group of friends, uh, me, Adam and Joff are here for five days. I sit, there is some cheeses to be caught in here, um, there's some mega fish in here. Uh, they, unfortunately the draw's already been done on the pegs before we got here, so we've got set swims. Uh, I'm in a, a nice good swim, uh, Adam and Joff, the self, they've been tucked into corners. Um, they're going to really have to work these swims to, to do well in them. But yeah, we'll keep you updated throughout the week, give you some updates, hopefully we have some. So we've got five days. Three of us from Cart Basics on tour in France. Let's see what we can do. Let's have it. Viva la France! <laughs> There it is, first fish of the session. Not exactly the biggest, not setting the world on fire. Probably about 20 pounds. Um, fall into the house pellet uh, with a red lobster wafter and a few crushed house boilies. So get some more bait out there. Hopefully get something a bit bigger. There it is. Here we go, second fish in under six hours out here being in France. What a start, 41.12. Um, fell to the ocean's fruit. Um, we are using the house pellet here, it would be silly not to. Um, loads of it goes in, but we are still using carp basics hookers. And here we go, 41 pound. What a start. few fish top in I have managed to have one uh, only a small stocky about 20 odd pound Kyle and Adam they've had a 40 each uh, a really nice one you obviously see that as we go on in terms of what we're doing we'll go around and see Kyle and Adam throughout the video me personally there is uh, a bait restriction here arguably we're a bait company we'd like to use our own bait uh, we can use our own hook baits that's what we're doing we're using lobster and oceans through but we're using the house pellet uh, and the house boilies. Now we're crushing those boilies up, powdering those up, uh, chopping those up. Uh, and the house pellet is just a mixed pellet, a fish meal pellet, pretty similar to what we already do. So that works. That's what the fish are fed on in the lake. So that's what we'll continue to do and use. It's worked so far. We've had three bites, so it's working. Um, I believe the lobster and ocean's fruit wafters have done the bites. Uh, and Adam has just lost one. So. That was a quick change to a Ronnie on a yellow, I believe, but we'll go into details with, with Adam as we go on. So we're heading into the first night for us. The other lads on the lake have been here since Saturday. We were at the BCACs, so we didn't get down and start fishing until Monday morning. So we're a few days behind, so we're playing catch up. Um, we'll keep you posted with what goes on throughout the day and the week ahead. So let's see what we can do. Thirty-seven. What? They go double that size in here. Oh, it might be forty. Forty pound grassy. Oh. For, forty pound six ounces. What forty was your PB grassy. before that? Twenty pounds. <laughs> there it is. Forty pound two ounce grass carp. This one was the lobster wafter. Again, just fished over has pellet. Um, had to move the spots out to a little bit longer. The fish have pushed out since we moved in the swim now. Um, we've had to adapt the fishing and push out with them. Here we go, 40 pound grassy. Mm. 
50 pound and three ounce of grass carp. Not long after the 40, Matt broke a second PB on the old grass carp here. Definitely these boys are gonna throw a bucket at me soon. You, but you yeah, might. I'm not disappointed at all. Uh, same, same tactic, has pellet over an ocean's wafter. Um, yeah, they just seem to take a taste into it at the minute. So how uh, big is it? 50 pound, three ounces. I thought it was 53. Oh, it's 50 oh, was it 53? 53 pound. 53 pound. Oh, 50, sorry, 53 pound. 53 pound, <sighs> new PB. <sighs> That's a fish on Carl's rods again. <laughs> As soon as he stumped me in the corner, no fish bite. <laughs> and then uh, and then he feels so guilty, he's actually let me strike his rods twice for two carps. <laughs> so, cheers, bruv. Yeah, what was it, 30? 34.10. Caught on the oceans again. What was on it, Carl? What was on the rig, mate? Ocean's fruit. <laughs> <laughs> drip, in it? Ocean's fruit on I a pinpoint this, spot. I love this bait and weight and reel them in. <laughs> To be honest, I might as well come and put my bivy in Carl's swim. <laughs> That's free fish for me, all from Carl's rod, so when he's not in the swim. So what did you catch on Carl's rod? Carl's rod again, Carl baited it. Again, just 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 reel in. That is, I'm really enjoying this French trip. <laughs> like, it's literally minimal effort. <laughs> yeah. Literally You're such, minimal effort. How big is it? How big? Uh, 40 pound, 41 pound eight, wasn't it? Yeah, 41 pound eight. I've um, been fishing for a couple of days now. Yeah, lovely, beautiful place. Um, just what we needed after a BCAC to relax. Um, got off to a good start, had some nice fish. Um, we're using a has pellet, but we are using carp basics, of course, hook baits. So lobster and ocean fruit wafters. Um, just basically with a boatload of pellet. Um, it's working well, I might have to change things up today a little bit, see if we can nick a few more bites. Nights have been a bit quiet for us in a minute. Not spoke to Joff today, so pop down to see him in a bit, see how he's got on last night. Don't think Adam had anything last night, but we've still got three nights left. Um, it's a mega fish in here. Um, yeah, we'll keep you updated and let you know how we do. Just spoke to Matt, the lake owner. Few changes, just to see if we can up the catch rate here. Um, he really recommends a wide gape hook. So we've come off the curve spinners. Um, we're gonna jump onto the wide gapes now. See if it makes a difference. Uh, yeah, we'll let you know. Hopefully it does. Here we go, 34 pound on the nose. Um, ocean fruit wafter again out here. A uh, little bit different this time. A few extra crumbed up ocean fruit boilies that we had in the bag, crumbed up in the mix with it. 
Um, we was just about to refresh, funny enough, just before night here. Um, well, can refresh now, can't we? Because we just had one. <laughs> here we go, 34 pounds. Just want to talk you through some of the bait that we're using on the venue at Utopia. So they have got a few rules here. You can only use the house boilies and the house pellets. Uh, a few reasons. One, because there was a problem bringing bait over in the last few years with Brexit. Secondly, the bait the, the guys on site uh, manufacture uh, is designed purposely for this venue and for their fish. Uh, so that's something that they make you purchase before you get here. So they do a house pellet. It's very similar to the pellet that we already have and use. Uh, and the boilies, we're using a fish meal boilie here this week. It's a ready orangey sort of color anyway, so very fish mealy. You are allowed your own hook baits. So we are fishing our oceans fruit wafters and red lobster wafters over the top um, and array of oils and stuff like that that we can use as well to enhance it. So our flavors can be added to the boilies that are on site. I know it's ironic, we're a bait company and we're buying bait and using bait, but that's the rules of the venue. We will abide by those rules. So. I'll just talk you through roughly what it is. So at the moment, we're just mulching down and crushing up um, the boilie in the crumb, adding it to the pellet, three different size pellets from 10 mil, eight mil, six mils. Um, they're great feed pellets in here. They're doing lots of bites for everyone on the venue. Uh, we're adding a little bit of water. So we're just starting that process of breaking the, the boilie crumb uh, and the pellets down. So when they're going out, the process has already started. The oils are coming out. It's just to, to try and get a quick bite. It's worked for a lot of people here. My swim has been very slow, um, but I'm now copying identically to what everyone else on the venue is doing, uh, and we'll see if that pays off. So, big beds of bait, probably a kilo at a time going in, but plenty of crumb, plenty of boilie, the odd whole boilie. Uh, the venue owner told us not to use too many whole boilies, the fish get put off by it. This is a very, very high pressured water. They see bait, boilies, everything, they've seen it all. For many years week after week after week after week everyone's got this opinion that you come to france and you're gonna have run after run after one it really isn't like that on, on most french waters nowadays so but in a in a nutshell that's what the bait we're using loads of crumb loads of bits and pieces loads of pellet fishing old wafters over the top um, i'll let you know how we get on After a few days of blanking in the corner and not having a fish on Kyle's rod, I actually decided to do some work and um, we, we changed the rig, light leads, we actually went for a wide gape rather than a, what was your on? We were on Ronnie rigs, wasn't we? Just on a curved. It was on a curved shank and um, yeah, had a change up, change of, we went away from the house pellet and we had some, um, we, had a, we had a nice bit of hemp with us, so we baited the spot and I believe this produce just before dinner so what was nice it 35 10 35 yeah 35 10 so absolutely beautiful happy days well done the changes so i've got a different scenery someone's packed up today uh they're heading home the night earlier than, than planned so there's a swim available uh, it's the next swim down for me in the middle of the lake um I've been stuck in that corner all week. I have very little to show for it, to be honest. I had a grass, uh, a little common, a bream, a tench, really struggling to find anything out there. So, the opportunity came up. I've got just over 12 hours in this swim. It's done a few night bites this week already. So I'm hoping I'm on the spots, put a lot of bait out there. Uh, just see if I can draw a few fish from that center part of the lake try and catch something a cheese would be nice a 30 pound and 40 pounder they got 60 pound in here so i'd love to have something to show for the week's efforts down here carl and adam over the other side they've generally been having three or four fish a day between them um ranging from as you've seen through the video you know sort of 20 pounds up to sort of high 40 so and the 53 pound grass carp um which was an absolute beast by the way uh kyle behind me you might 
might be able to see him in the distance. He's actually just hooked into a chat pike off the deck on a Ronnie rig. So it's one of those lakes, it's teeming with life. Getting through to the carp has been a bit difficult this week. Everyone else is struggling a little bit as well. There's a lot of fry in the margins, there's a lot of naturals in the lake, so I don't know if the carp are preoccupied. Time will tell. So, into the last afternoon, we got tonight, we're packing up eight in the morning and we're heading back, so I'll brief you again in the morning with any action that we've had. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a bit bigger than what I thought. <laughs> Jesus. Here we are. We've got less than three hours to go. Joff told me it was a full moon last night. I told him big common. And here it is, it's in the net. Would it weigh 50? 1.8. 51.8. Oh, buzzing. What a morning to wake up on and pack up. Uh, caught on the, um, this was carp basics, lobster wafter, fished over, has pellet with a handful of boilies in the boat as well. Three, two, one. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and then we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a tail slap for the trouble. Right. <laughs> 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 Mate, his towel really hurts. We're up, we're up. <sighs> we're down, we're down. Whoa. You still got him. You don't got him. <laughs> Come France, they said. Relax, they said. <laughs> Have a day off, will you? <laughs> don't feel me getting out. <laughs> That's full of water. Mate, it's got a gut on it. Thank you. Old fish. Old fish. <laughs> I should have known it was coming. Did he try to take you with you? <laughs> well, I wanted you to bring you with me. Oh. It's a clear spot now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that is wet. <sighs> We've got to pack up. <sighs>